Hey there, Bruce Lee fans. This is Wesitron. Today we're going to be taking a look at Metacom Toys Miracle Action Figure Bruce Lee. Um, this figure is from several years ago. I'm not exactly sure of the year. I'm hoping there's something somewhere on the inside of the package because I don't see anything on the back as far as the year. Um, but basically, Metacom, as far as I know, doesn't operate a whole lot in the 6 to 7 inch scale. Um, but they're starting to get back into that with the Moffex action figures, which is Miracle Action Figure EX. Um, with the upcoming Spider-Man from Amazing Spider-Man and uh, Batman from The Dark Knight Returns. Um, or one of his costumes. I think it's Returns. But uh, So I wanted to take a look at one of these older figures. Um, this would definitely be a, a much lower quality than the new ones they're uh, pushing out. But, uh, let's see, anything there? Nope. Um... Th this will at least give me kind of an idea of maybe how some of the articulation works or something. I don't know. I just kind of stumbled on a Bruce Lee figure and I thought, hey, that's cool. And then I noticed later that it was a Miracle Action figure. So let's get him out of the package and see what he looks like. And here's Bruce out of packaging doing some generic, not even close to Kung Fu pose. I don't know. Um, if you do Kung Fu or uh, Jeet Kune Do, I truly apologize for not studying before I did this. But um, yeah. It, it works enough to show off his articulation. Um, so we'll just take a quick look uh, at his uh, costuming here. Because um, this is actually like a body underneath and then like a uh, know, some kind of stretchy rayon or nylon or something uh, fabric that goes over it. Which has um, kind of a little bit of a um, texture to it. Which it may just show up as crazy colors because these tend to on video. But um, very nice. You know, there's a zipper in the back to undo it if you'd like to slip it off for some reason, uh, which is up to you. But uh, it's it's very kind of stretchy, flexible material, so it, it doesn't hurt articulation at all, which is very nice, very cool. And, uh, yeah, head, pretty nice. Not a perfect Bruce Lee sculpt, but, you know, certainly not bad. Um, your friends will uh, definitely say... Uh, Hey, that's Bruce Lee on your shelf. Or if they're a bigger nerd, hey, that's Fei Long on your shelf. Or something to, of that nature. Um, the only real sculpting scene is that and the hands, which are a little generic, a little just kind of, I don't want to say dialed in, but, uh, you know, just not fancy. Nothing special about them. Um, and uh, the feet down here, I'm dropping stuff again, um, are his uh, kind of... Uh, tabby type shoes. They're not tabby, but uh, they like, look like loafers, but he kicks ass in them, so I don't know what you call them. Kick-ass loafers. Um, ass whooping loafers. Um, but yeah, very nice. So uh, let's uh, check out some of this articulation. So here's a look at Bruce with the uh, suit slid down so you can see the articulation. Um, now he doesn't have any kind of pants or anything, so if you do take off the stealth suit, um, you're just going to have a naked Bruce Lee figure. Um, I took his uh, uh, hands off so that I could get the suit off a little easier because it's pretty tight on him. Um, but you can see there's a ball jointed neck with a very nice range of motion. Not a whole lot of back because he's got that long hair. Um, but down is great, you know, side to side, pretty awesome. Great job there. He's got two ball joints here in his midsections. So uh, he, he's got, you know, pretty dynamic range of motion there. Uh, and they also swivel, of course, except they are on like a, uh, um, I guess kind of like the uh, O-rings from G.I. Joe, so they, they kind of snap back, which is a little unfortunate. I'd prefer these things to actually hold the poses a little better, but it could be worse. Um, we've got the uh, swivel hinge shoulders, which, uh, oh, I'm sorry, those are actually not swivel, are they? Oh, they are swivel hinge. Okay, it looked like it was a ball in there, but no, it's a swivel hinge. It goes out to about there, swivel hinge uh elbows as well about 90 degrees on those and uh you know the rotation ball jointed uh wrists and then swivel hinge uh hips here looks like yes yes yeah, swivel hinge hips and swivel hinge uh knees and ankles and uh let me just slide the suit up real quick you guys can see range is about like that on the ankle going down about that going up so pretty good uh motion there which is nice. No rockers, unfortunately. I'm a big fan of the rocker. Uh, not on this figure, though, which is too bad. So while it's off here, I might as well go ahead and show you. Um, they did do a very nice job on the musculature here and everything. You know, it's a little kind of square through here and stuff. You know, it's, it's a little, perhaps, uh, not too defined because this dude was ripped. But um, 
perhaps a little bit too um, blocky. Um, but it's still very nice. They actually, even though it's covered up, you may be able to see there's some airbrushing on here. So if you did want to dress him down to his waist for some reason, you do have that option. Um, the suit does operate on a zip. So uh, it, it's real easy to get on and off. So I can actually slide this back on right here. And what I've noticed, at least so far, I haven't had much trouble with the suit hindering articulation. Um, at least not for the poses I've been trying. Um, you can see it zips up very easily. Um, see, it, it doesn't hinder any kind of knee action. I'm kind of surprised by that. Uh, I would have expected uh, something to kind of catch or hold or whatever. But um, so far, it's actually pretty good. Um, this is a really, really flexible material. Get his hands back on here. He's got big ball joints in the wrist. So you can see how his wrist moves now. Um, but yeah, very, very flexible material. Doesn't move around a whole lot, which is great. Um, or, I'm sorry, it doesn't hinder movement a lot. Man, there we go. So, uh, the only uh, other accessory, aside from his stealthy, if you want to consider that access an accessory, are two uh, batons that fit in his hands. Um, just like that. So, uh, they don't connect together or anything. You can't, uh, like, have him do anything cool like that. Although you could, I guess... If you wanted to have some fun, get them in there, kind of pop his knee up like that, like he was breaking it over his knee, but, you know, it's not perfect. <laughs> um, now, the knees are not a perfect 90 degrees, if you see there, um, which I'm, I kind of wish that he had double-jointed knees there. I, like I said, I don't know how old this figure really is, so I can't really speak for um, how he measured up against toys at the time, but um, in general... Um, I do wish that he had slightly better articulation in the knees, but uh, yeah, this figure overall, I gotta say, is pretty nice. Um, I uh, paid fifteen dollars for this from uh, eBay uh, before shipping. You can see it; he's got a, a nice little bit of posability there. Um, very natural, not not crazy or anything. No uh, peg holes on the bottom here, um, but yeah, very cool. Um, let's see. I think his joints are pretty tight for the most part. Let's see if I can get him to do a well. That might be too, asking too much there. So maybe maybe a little top heavy uh, because of his mechanism in here for the spring and everything makes him pretty heavy on top. So you may not be able to get perfect kicking poses without him falling over, or it may be possible with a little work. But um, yeah, nice figure. Dig it. Um, not a whole lot to say about it. So, yeah, cool figure, dig it. Um, if you see one, I'd say uh, 10 to 15 bucks. There's people on eBay and Amazon and stuff who want to charge you a lot for it. Um, unless you're a huge Bruce Lee fan, I would say 10 to 15 bucks, uh, 20 at the most, um, before shipping, of course. Uh, but yeah, good figure. Pick them up if you get the chance. And uh, if you have any questions or comments, hit me up below. Thanks, guys. I'll talk to you later. Bye.